Well, we continue to hear from many of you, especially on social media, about people not able to find items that they're looking for at the grocery store. A UB professor says the grocery store industry was not prepared for a surge of customers in the coronavirus outbreak. Channel 2's Jeff Braval spoke with that professor today. Yeah, the UB professor says that for the past 10 to 15 years, grocery stores supply chains have been kept pretty lean by the grocery stores. But when the coronavirus outbreak hit the U.S., a lot of grocery stores did not expect, did not prepare simply for a surge in customers. Now today I spoke by FaceTime with Dr. Nalan Suresh, a distinguished professor of operations management at UB. He says under normal circumstances, grocery store chains have a wide variety of products, but keep very little in their inventory. And that while the industry forecasts customer habits, the industry did not prepare for a surge in customers, even though it had about a three to four week heads up to prepare. And now, since this is a global pandemic, products cannot be easily shipped from other parts of the world. By hindsight, I, would say, I could have said that we, could, we should also be looking at how grocery supply chains and how consumers have been behaving in other countries which were hit by the virus before us. And uh, so those are all lessons that we will uh, take going forward. So Rash says the grocery store industry over the years has learned to react to events such as natural disasters, but the coronavirus outbreak is different. He says shortened work hours and social distancing are just a couple issues that are affecting production. Now we have heard from major local stores chains such as Tops and Wegmans and they tell us that they continue to try to restock shelves and Suresh says that one thing that the stores uh, have done which is a good thing is they've limited the number the quantity of products that you can buy when you leave the stores and he expects in the next week or two for things to stabilize reporting in Buffalo I'm Jeff Perval Channel 2 News.